forward it goes from Sushnia. Pretty accurate release it was too. And Matt Miller will dart into the box. Here's Danny De Silva. And he was just hustled out of it in the end. The ball's midfielder by Marcelo. It was a nice run from Matt Miller down that right-hand side. Fine ball in. It's right in his path. Gabriel Clare has kept the ball in. And a little threaded pass through has found Ninkovic. And a chance for Morello. Goodness me, he's on fire at the moment. Brandon Borello. It's his 20th A-League goal. His seventh of the season. He's turning into a real potent threat for the red and black. Well, we spoke about him in the pre-match. Harvey Norman replay will show. It's a ball inside and Milos Nikovic gets onto the end of and it's a great run. Confidence. And here it is, the strike. Six goals. In nine games now, and we're only three minutes into that ninth game. Wonderful ball from Ninkovic into the path. Doesn't think twice. First time across the goal. Into the back of the net. Wonderful start for Western Sydney. Gabriel Clare galloping forward. He was caught there by Noon. Advantage play, though. Borello. You can see there he's late. He comes down with the studs on the back of the ankle. And What's the verdict here? for Craig New, yeah, thought it might be. What a disastrous start for MacArthur. Leuni, Clur beyond him, near post. <laughs> I think it just uh, smacked to Malfitano in the face, somewhat, really. Marcelo sweeps it wide. Dean Lee drives it low. Malfitano again was sniffing for that opportunity at the near post. The Bulls defend that one though. Leuni. Nice one too with Neuenhoff. Building nicely here. Schneidle puts it into a pass. Couldn't miss. Roman Amalfitano does have his goal. Just his second for Western Sydney Wanderers. And now they are too clear. That pressure has finally told on the Bulls. Well, that's wonderful football from Western Sydney Wanderers. They've been moving the ball around for the last 30 minutes. The Harvey Norman replay shows it's that man, Amor Leuni, again, with a little one-two give-and-go that really creates the first opportunity. Lovely turn there. And then there's a lay, goes out to the left. Malfitano is perfectly positioned to tuck it away into the far corner, but it's a wonderful turn from Borello. Snidling involved, the composure to put it into the path of Amalfitano, who truly does the rest. This is the number 10 in that attack. And a challenge from behind by Bacchus. Kurt Hams has got a check on the welfare of the Wanderers player, but has allowed play to continue. Miller across the face. That could so easily have gone in. It's going to be a Bulls corner, and the Wanderers are holding a bit of an inquisition with Kurt Hams as to why he didn't blow for a foul. The Wanderers corner, Schneiderlin's delivery. And it pops, and wide by Malfitano, and did take a flick off a Bulls defender. Ewenhoff, Brandon Barella, narrow angle, held up by Curto, Leuni. After he was teed up by the perseverance and persistence of Callum Ewenhoff, and Curto called into action. Another great run from Barella, pace and power. Curto called into the first save and a little bit lax there in defence. Curto again with the second save his team in the contest. Fancy this might be a penalty. Sushnia did not see Neuenhoff on the blind side. <laughs> penalty. It's Morgan Schneidel in. And he has his first goal for Western Sydney Wanderers. Runs to celebrate with those in red and black behind the goal. And Marco Rodin's team have three goals and surely now three points. Jared Carlucci.
Fischer is going to be with us for the Wanderers' next break in play. Clear into the box, New and Hoff! It's four! And Callum New and Hoff has goals in back to back matches for Western Sydney Wanderers. Well, I'm not too sure that that was the pass that was intended. And as it was on New Year's Day in the end, so it turns out to be again for Western Sydney Wanderers. Full-time scoreline in Parramatta, Western Sydney Wanderers 4, MacArthur 0.